all right so this video is the day after i went to kings and millions but it took me a day to realize what i need to say but i realized kings and millions really isn't a bad part i gave it bad rap for a while i'm finally coming to realize that the only reason why i think you know it was a bad part for me is the fact that i-305 or project 305 now overshadows pretty much the majority of the park by far and if you was to take that coaster and put it into any park, I probably would feel the same way about those parks also. So I kind of learned how to just accept and appreciate Project 305 and, you know, just kind of put it in a league of his own. I actually had a good time at Kings Dominion once I was able to realize that. But hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's going to be a breezy, chilly, cold day on this cold ass day. Hey, look. Check the check the out for my mouth, but back at this bland ass park. I'm trying to make a damn good day now. If you know me, you know how much I don't really like Kings of Maine at all. I don't really have fun here at all. But I really was missing I 305, so I ain't gonna this place too much. And I'm gonna try to take it as a new day, a new year, and try to actually enjoy it myself. Okay, let's see. I'm in the park at 11 on 8. I got in line like 10, 10 20, something like that. So not too bad, not too savvy, but a lot of parts of the park just closed off. Let's head to the back where the GPs don't go first because they're going to go to the front first. I do love me some international street though because this damn thing is so marquee. Now I really do like the mountains. Oh, and the towers. Sweet treats and more. So I had to turn around and come back to the restrooms because this little heifer can't hold her bowels. <laughs> she has to take a shit. Have to pee. She has to shit. So she saw the coasters and it literally scared the shit out of her. Look at this. They just just sitting up there. Just sitting there. Not doing shit. Typical Kings Dominion. So it's like almost 45 degrees. Maybe like 42, 43. And so they're not running the rides right now because it's too cold. They kill me with that. Woodstock Express is very, my very first coaster I ever ridden as a childhood, which was at Kings and Mickey Park. Even though I don't like this place that much, and I think I'm about to get another ride. Oh, then Billy's up too. I got it. <laughs> you get to ride the first coaster I've ever ridden with. <laughs> it's childhood memory. Oh, with my, with my childhood shirt on still. Yeah, so I just got off Woodstock Express and it was actually better than I remember because the first time I rode it as a kid, I was kind of like traumatized and I didn't like coasters after that. It took me a couple years to go later on in life. I was like 16, 17, but I actually started enjoying coasters, but I actually enjoyed it way better than the first time I rode it. But it's a great childhood memory. So, oh, Timbili, let's head to Timbili, but it's so empty over here now. Every since they took the volcano out, which is crazy, man. Oh shit, I can't even walk this way. I'm gonna have to make a detour to go around. That must mean they're doing work to the new coaster coming. But hey, look at them Billy though. It's a pretty cool coaster. Oh. But like I was saying though, I miss the blast coaster being over here so much. This DNM wing, they better pull it off. This is what it's gonna be. Better be good. We missed the blast coaster. But what I will say, this area is pretty nice since they did the redeeming of it. Well, Cop Soto. <laughs> Go to the reptilian. Here we go. <laughs> so, how was her killing it? It was good. He almost bit my jaw off, but reptile got me. It was rough. It was intense. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this tunnel. We ain't about the reptiles. 
This is an alligator mixed with a um, scorpion, I think. Snake with legs. Well, snake with, no, he has legs. <laughs> These are what you call modern day palm trees on the wall right here. The stick, or you can say a brook man palm trees back in like the um, dinosaur days, if you want to call it, because it's reptilians. So half of the rides are still closed, and um, I'm gonna try my little flight of fear and see this flight of fear real quick. Should be, being that it's inside, and weather shouldn't be dependent on that. All oh, shucks, and it's open, but um, Project 305 need to hear it been open. Oh, it's testing, you see it? Yeah. Yo, stay right here for a second. Watch when it come across this hill. It ain't gonna take long at all. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm excited just talking about it and I was looking at it. And wait till you see it coming around those curves. What do you think is going to happen in here? I don't know. You don't got no idea? No idea. Oh, okay. Let's go for it then. Ooh. Flight of fear. Paranormal activity? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Let's do it. You nervous? Yeah. We are. Yeah. Go ahead. You, you got to lead the way. What is expected here? Uh oh. Uh-oh, door number three. Oh my gosh, you got aliens. Aliens are invasion. We're going in the UFO. Woke up in the UFO. I think she's actually nervous of walking up in here. <laughs> what? I don't even know what she's getting herself into, guys. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. We'll be back with the flight of flare. Oh, they came back with no people. So, you believe that you are studying us? Then kindly explain why you were the ones trapped in your seats. Wow. Wow, that was pretty good. Um, that's definitely better than King's Island Flight of Fear, by far. And um, whew, well, it's it pretty scary. Did you like it? Yeah, it was great. It was, said, I loved the launch and the darkness. <laughs> you had no idea what was coming. It's fantastic. I agree with her. <laughs> so I was ready to get on I-305 and, um, well, I'm sorry, not I-305, it's Project 305 now, but I took another motherfucking bathroom break. We start leaving kids at home. I bet. Um, so I have a confession. Um, I kind of went to the bathroom too. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> but I guess it worked out because some Billy's open right now. And I don't know what this is. Is one way in and one way out? You know that type of role. <laughs> finally, finally, Tim Billy. It's really no line. It's one of the best rides in the park. It's premier. Premier as fuck. It's two lines here. You go on each side. You can go straight across if you want. Just go straight across to the other side. I guess she got kind of confused. Cause she's like, oh. Go to the left. To the left. Yeah. Yeah. She's two sides. She's like Dory. She's always freaking confused in places. I just don't know what to do. Let's see how dizzy she, she's going to be confused when she get off of Tim Billy. When she's like scramble her brains from aim. I mean, damn, I said it all wrong. Scramble her brains like eggs. <laughs> we know Miss Benzo. Oh, look at that beautiful track. All right, so I finally get my ride on Tim Billy. I have mixed feelings about it. It's actually pretty good. I really like the spins on it. It's, I feel like something's still missing over here. This part side of the park feels dead to me still. I guess because I'm still reminiscing on Volcano. I guess I gotta let it go. Like the Frozen song, let it go. But I think I had the Anaconda. My Anaconda don't want none unless. So Anaconda was closed and we're coming to Project 305. Like I can't wait no longer. I'm just gonna ruin her day. Um, the best ride in the park by far. But enough of me talking, it's some ride action. Project 305, somebody tried to argue with me, one of my reels, that this wasn't gonna be the name. Ah, there you go. But you're gonna take your way over here, you're gonna stand all the way up 300 feet, you're gonna take that nice drop, air down hill. Oh, the other side, you're gonna go night night.
Let's go. Look, boys, like I hate this, but I love it. Let's go. Let's see her reaction when we get off. Let's go. Ah, man, that's so great, man. That's what a 300 foot coaster should be like. I love Fury and all of it, but I can't believe I'm saying this. Fury, you're a baby. Orion, you're a baby. Millie, you're a baby. This is Big Daddy right here, Project 305, okay? This is Big Daddy. I'm going again. Let's go again. I won't plan. All right, time well spent over here, Project 305. Now, three rides, then it's time for me to find some food. And I don't know if she buried out or not, but she said she did, but I'm not I'm so sure because I wasn't I looking did. at her. You did? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so it really is night, night to ride. <laughs> <laughs> but this has moved up in my ranking by far because I used to be kind of like Fury for my Giga, but Fury is just 300 feet for no, no reason for me. This is what a 300 foot coaster should feel like. Yeah, right behind me. Right behind me. Man, we came just in time. We well, just opened the line. Backline stunt coaster. Backline stunt coaster. Yo, I just missed the rollback on the back lot stunt coaster. They didn't make it to the top. <laughs> yeah, so we had temporary delay uh, just the back lot. We didn't have a long time to last. This is what we pray for. We always want one of these and I never get one. Out of all the rides I ran, I never got a rollback in my life. What's this on my face? I'm getting gray about it. Attention guests on the yeah, web train. We are aware of your facility. Look at that shine, that shine. Chicken, that's some chicken and rice. That's some chicken and rice. Time to eat some chicken and rice and num num. That was decently good. I still like grain and grill better though. But I ain't complaining. <laughs> Something that I never really like and I beg the differ to ride all the time. I don't do them shits. That is a hell no. All right, so I'm kind of excited to get back on Twisted Timbers. I really don't ride this ride that often because to me it's so fucking mid. People hype it up way more than what it really is. So I'm gonna try to go in today without my negativity thinking about the ride and just try to have a good time on it. We'll see once I get off. Timbers. Twisted Timbers is a lap set was like 20 minute wait, but I didn't wait for like an hour, but it was pretty good. Um, I still think Twisted Timbers is, oops, I hit the camera, imagine my finger, but I still think Timbers is mid as fuck in my opinion. It's not a top tier coaster for me. Um, but it was one of the good best, the best, the better rice that I had on it. But uh, she says she likes his favorite ride of the day, which is, I think she needs a smoking crack because this ride is not better than our 305. Is this my opinion? It's different. Different. It's when wood meets steel. <laughs> Let's go to Grizzly. Let's so make a quick pit stop to Windseeker. Jeez. Look at the wind. Oh, Windseeker. So I just got Windseeker and I just seen some retrack wood on Grizzly that wasn't there last year. So I'm going to head that way. See, they smooth out the roughness. Oh, okay, and she got dizzy and she got sick on Windseeker, so we had to take a bathroom stop again. She had to clean up her mouth. Oh, we're right here. The Grizzly Gulch General Store. Just so case you didn't know, if your first time coming here, they got a sign here now that they have you out. Grizzly, that way, through the store. Make your way through the store. Cut around any corners. And then you have the Grizzly. Cut it over here in the corner. Wow, there's no line in here. There's no line for Grizzly. We need to go to the back. <gasps> back room rider. I don't know if y'all can see this well. My camera pick it up, but a lot of new wood on the Grizzly. They don't get to turn around as new. 
Every time I get off the ride, somebody keep fucking fire. It ain't me this time, it's normally me. But uh <laughs> the retrack on well not the retrack, the extra retrack on Grizzly is pretty good. It's really, really, really smooth. Even though I sound like a damn bad person, but I do prefer the roughness to beat me up, toss me to the side type woody coaster. So I'm just leaving it there. But it's still pretty good. This is an ace landmark. Ace landmark. Race is 75. Let's go. So the race is 75 is actually really, really smooth this year, you know? It's a lot smoother than what it been in the past. You know, all this new woodwork is catching up with these guys or not, but I didn't feel not one bump. And all I felt was hay and hose and I literally stood up in my seat the whole ride. It was the airtime was unreal. It was marvelous. Like is this the best ride at King's Dominion now? Hmm. Let's try this again. Let's see, can we get to ride the end of the counter this time? Hey, I hear it running. Good old arrow. Let's get the footage of it. <gasps> Where did it go? This part right here is where you say owl jet. Not right there. Right there in the bottom you say right there, ouch. <laughs> Ready spaghetti? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. You, you like the what? I don't know the rolls. The other rolls? The rolls. rolls. The bear rolls. Oh my gosh. Somebody's funny. Corkscrews or whatever. Yeah. So, hmm. so I like the. The bear rolls. Okay. The corkscrews. Yeah. My phone keep vibrating. Oh. I got a perfect stand week this week. Wow, I'm on it. But no. I don't know it's pretty rough as usual. I'm going back to I-305. I mean, excuse me, Project 305. Cruising down the street in my Project 305. Nah, I'm just <laughs> I had two rides on there, and um, look at my beard. Like the hair is just, like crazy. Like from that height back there, it's blowing my hair everywhere. But um, she had a second thought. At first, she was saying this Twisted Timbers was better than I 305 with Project 305. I was like, are she fucking crazy? Has she been drinking? And then she came back around again and saying that she changed her mind. Like, I so, did. I changed my mind. I think it was better. Yes. It was pretty awesome the last two rides. Wow, and I actually grayed out on there too. too. I know you're gonna lie. But yeah. Project 305 is running good this year. Like I'm gonna give me a ride on the Dominator before I head out the exit of the park and I can catch my wild mouse and catch the cheese. <laughs> and that's a wrap today in this most marvelous amusement park of King's Dominion. I actually kind of had fun today. More fun than I normally eat. Maybe just because she's with me and <laughs> she's never been here. So I got kind of forced to do things I don't normally do. Did you hear that? But. I'm about to go find my fat ass something to eat that doesn't cost $25, $30 for some fucking chicken tenders inside the park. I can spin it at Olive Garden somewhere. So, until then.